So this weekend, I'm doing my first cyclocross race in almost two and a half years. I was really into cross racing for quite a while, and it just died in, in Florida. And there's only one. We went from having probably six or eight race weekends to having just one now. And so it's local. A buddy of mine's putting it on, uh, and it happens to be the Florida State Championship race. So today's Saturday. I'm racing today, and then tomorrow is the state championship. I don't know how I'm going to do. I, I mean... I've been riding, I just haven't been training specifically for any kind of racing, especially cyclocross racing. So not only is it my first cross race in two and a half years, I'm doing it on a gravel bike, which I've never done before. The, the very first cyclocross race I ever did, I did on a mountain bike, and then I quickly got a cross bike. But I sold my cross bike. I don't like having bikes sit around that I don't use, and I use my mountain bike and my, my mountain bikes and my gravel bike. And so, yeah, we're going to try it on the Niner, which works out perfectly because I'm getting ready to sell this Niner RLT9 because I've got a new one and I'm going to strip it down, get everything off except for the essentials to, to lighten it up. Uh, so yeah, I was going to have to do that anyway. Let's uh, strip this thing down and get it ready for a cross race. So I'll be taking off the seat pouch, take off the radar. We'll take off the light bracket, take out the third eye mirror. This is why when I was really into cross racing, I had a gravel bike and I had a cross bike. There was a time when I only had one, but I ended up getting a gravel bike just because I didn't want to have to do all this before every single cross race weekend in the fall. Don't need the mini pump on the bike. I'm curious to know the weight with everything stripped off. So I got it down to 21.1 pounds. I think my cross race bike when I had it, which was a giant TCX, I think that thing was like 18 or 19 pounds. So this is, I mean, it's pretty respectable. All right, time to head over to the course. Dawson is going to race today, so I talked him into doing a cyclocross race on his mountain bike. Let me go through my checklist first. So this race is on someone's farm, way out on a country road. What's your prediction, Dawson? Prediction? Pain. So, so we're out riding the course. Gravel bike feels good. So if you're wondering the differences between a gravel bike and a cyclocross bike, the geometry is the main thing. So the gravel bike's gonna have a little bit slacker head tube angle, a little bit longer wheelbase, a little bit lower bottom bracket. Gravel bikes are made for just long distances, staying comfortable, whereas cyclocross bikes are made for quick turns, quick acceleration. So, you know, it's not as fast in the turns, but I mean, it's been so long since I rode a cross bike on a cross course that I don't really notice the difference. Uh, but I'll put the GoPro on my on the front of my bike for the race so you can kind of see the course. It's pretty good. A little bit of single track on it. Uh, not too much mud, a little bit of mud in some of the corners. But other than that, the course is in great shape. It's going to be pretty fast in the open sections. Oh, and one more difference between this bike and my cross bike. The cross bike I had was a single front chain ring, which I really liked because I didn't have to decide, you know, which front chain ring to be in. You just use the rear shifter. This one, I'm like, I don't know if I should be in the large or the small. I'm gonna finish my pre-ride here and kind of decide. Uh, but there's just more to go wrong with the front derailleur on a cross course. Cross course is much rougher than most gravel roads that I ride. So that's another difference. This corner is the only mud on the whole course. A little soft spot right there. The inside line is the best. Don't tell anyone. The course is fun. It's in good shape. Oh, one more thing I thought about the difference is the tires. So I've got 40C tires. The UCI limit for cyclocross, I think is 33C or 32, but they don't cut through the mud like a cross tire would. You know, the front derailleur is kind of wigging me out a little bit because I'm cross chaining either in the small or the big ring. So I think I'm gonna be shifting the front derailleur, which I'm not happy about doing in a cross race because I still wanna drop the chain, but I think my bike's tuned up well. So strategy for today is to not race 100%. I wanna be, on my game tomorrow for the state championship. I don't know if I have any chance or not, but why not give it a shot? So I'm gonna just kind of sit on someone's wheel for a while. Um, and then, you know, if, if it looks like I have a chance to win, then I may push it the last lap or so. But uh, right now, it's, I'm gonna race about 85%. All right, the race starts in 10 minutes.
And then it's dry. Got it. All right, last lap coming up. Uh, last time through the single track. dial through the single track. This little gravel bike does pretty good. It's still pretty agile. I can tell it's not quite as nimble as my cross bike was. It's still good enough. So I ended up getting the win in my class. There were two guys in the wave that were ahead of me that I was not going to catch. Uh, one of them was a buddy of mine, and they were flying. So 
the guy behind me was a guy in my class and he's a buddy of mine too and he was he was going pretty strong i uh, got a, kind of a gap in the single track and then the last couple laps i was able to kind of take it easy he actually crashed the first lap so he fell back a little bit and i w was able to just kind of ride like 60 70 percent and save some juice for tomorrow's race so i'm kind of excited about doing the state championship race we'll see how it goes i'll, I'll push harder tomorrow but uh, yeah ended up getting the win today now i'm gonna watch dawson race i'm really excited about seeing him race on his mountain bike uh, he says he's slightly nervous but not much um, he always says he's just going to do it for fun and then he gets out there and starts riding and gets really competitive so we'll see how he does <laughs> Oh, here comes the here it's comes the first and second there. riders. Yeah. I think. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Um, yeah, that was a good time. Good job, Doss. How you feel, Doss? Good? Yeah, but it's, <laughs> it's all going to depend on the wind direction. Like, it was a chilly night, but it was... It's about a trainer, though, so... That's it, buddy. One to go. One to go. Good job. Good job. <laughs> All right, double black backflip. So as you can see, Dawson ended up getting the win in his class. He raced category four or five, which he had to because he did not have enough points to race category three. And it was the first race he's ever done where he didn't race the junior class. He turns 19 this year, so he's no longer a junior. And uh, there were only like four, five guys in the class. So it wasn't a huge turnout on Saturday, but Sunday was a better turnout. So Sunday's race, I'm going to make a separate video because this one's getting long. And I want to talk through my race because it was the most exciting cyclocross race I've ever ridden in and the way it unfolded. So that'll be a separate video. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up for me and look out for the other video coming up uh, of Sunday's state championship cyclocross race. Thanks for watching.